I thought I'd take a break from the VTuber news and focus exclusively on social media news for today. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Because Steph and I just sold Theorist. We sold this business. This channel is no longer only my channel. Now, it's entirely possible you might not care who owns Game Theory, but I sure as hell do. This company started with Game Theory and then Film Theory and then Food Theory, all under MatPat's specific direction. And now he is selling his company. Now, personally, I think that's wild. I remember, I remember watching his game theory about boobs and video games. <laughs> when it was just like one dude. It is wild to me how massive this brand has grown and how it's grown to the point where he can no longer manage it and has to sell it in order to get help running the day-to-day -day operations. So to be specific, he's still the CEO and he's still going to be the host. It's just all of the corporate, you know, direction and payroll and all that jazz is instead going to be handled by Lunar X. And Lunar X is a company that is, their entire goal is to purchase channels and give them the resources to do more of what they want to do and less of the grindy nitty gritty stuff. Not only is Lunar purchasing the Game Theory company, they're also giving him the resources to launch a fourth channel. This is going to be four entire YouTube channels that one dude is going to be the host of. That's friggin' wild. And yes, I do realize that I paused at a really hilarious face. <laughs> Catching people mid-blank is always hilarious. But regardless, tell me what you think in the comments down below. What do you think is gonna change about Game Theory and all of its sub-channels being owned by a different company? Do you expect there to be any major changes? Are you for it? Are you against it? Let me know in the comments down below. The next social media news that I wanted to cover is that Tumblr is launching a live stream feature to compete with TikTok. These live streams are only going to be available for creators main blog. So any sub blogs they have, they would have to create an entirely separate account in order to stream for those. And also they're going to have a in app currency called diamonds, which is how they're going to make money while doing their live streams between Tumblr, returning 18 plus content, adding a live streaming feature. And with how much people hate Twitter these days, it really does seem like Tumblr is poised to rise like a phoenix from the ashes and return to mainstream popularity. Speaking of Twitter, apparently Elon Musk is going to be leaving up major policy changes up to the decisions of Twitter, but these polls are only going to be accessible to Twitter blue users. Trying real hard to get as many people as possible to sign up for Twitter blue, but I gotta say, still not getting Twitter blue. <laughs> There's nothing he could say or do to get me to pay for blue. The next story I wanted to cover is about a Twitch streamer who was arrested after threatening to kill 20 people while live on Twitch. And this might come as a shock to you. I don't know if you're prepared for this. He's from Florida. <laughs> of course he is. Of course it's a Florida man. God damn it, Florida. So apparently Lowell Thomas Shoemaker posted threatening remarks while on Twitch and somebody reported him to the FBI. Now, Shoemaker admitted to making these remarks, but denied that these threats were serious, saying that he was drunk as shit at the time. He also claims that his grandfather had recently died and he was feeling suicidal and that's why he was saying crazy things. I kind of glossed over this in the original recording, but I do want to make a huge point here that this is a guy who lost a family member, was feeling suicidal, got wasted and then threatened to kill 20 people. This is a very serious story and it's not something that I really should have glossed over as cheerfully as I do in this video. So I just want to take a moment to bring everything to a halt here and just acknowledge that this guy is clearly going through a lot. And despite me laughing this off as a funny Florida man story, I do genuinely hope he recovers from whatever the hell he's going through. I'm sure he's going through a lot. So yeah, pro social media tip, real, insider knowledge here uh don't threaten to kill people on live streams <laughs> that's that's not a smart content strategy kind of hard to be a famous twitch star from prison i assume i don't know maybe they have broadband in prison i have no idea never been comment down below if you've ever been in prison and tell me how nice it is but that is all the social media news i wanted to talk about today if you're new to the channel i usually cover vtuber news but i do still occasionally cover the goings on in social media in general 
So feel free to click that subscribe button. That's all I got for you. Bye guys.